What is up my bodyweight warriors? Welcome back to another day of eating. Before we get to food, always start your day with some water. What I like to do, half a litre of water, big pinch of sea or rock salt, about a gram of vitamin C, and then one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And that's it. So my morning drink that I have every single morning, I don't usually film this bit, but this is something I do pretty much religiously every single day. And there's pretty much always coffee. Also, while I remember, I was on the Mind Diet podcast discussing training, body weight movement, intermittent fasting, and just like generally diving a little bit deeper, more into the mental aspects of training. I actually listened to it just to check. I didn't sound like an idiot, but I thought it was actually a really good podcast. And if you are interested in that sort of thing or want to hear me ramble for another 45 minutes, I will link it in the description down below. The laptop has just died and it's now like 11.30, so I may as well make some breakfast. That means it's probably been about a 16-ish hour fast. I don't really keep track, I just play it by hunger. But now seems like a good time to eat. Breakfast, mackerel, two eggs, halloumi, and then cabalo, nero, leeks, garlic, tomato, basically all sauteed in butter and balsamic vinegar, which if you haven't tried like veg, balsamic vinegar, just a cracking combination. I don't think, I don't think halloumi has any real health benefit. It's just really freaking delicious. Yeah, breakfast, a lot of fat, good serving of protein, good serving of veggies, basically the standard. Archie. Is it time to go for a walk? Yeah? Um. I've now got to post some t-shirts and pick up some ingredients for the recipe that I'm gonna be sharing with you later. I thought it would be a good opportunity to answer the topic of today's video. So basically, you guys had questions, topics, recipe ideas. If you leave them in the comment section down below, I will address them or the top rated comment in the next video. So this is that part where I do that. Looking at the comments, there were quite a few people asking about veganism, my opinions on it, uh, the fact that I should go vegan. If you enjoy being vegan and vegan works for you and you feel awesome, great, keep doing it. I'm gonna keep doing what I do because that's how it makes me awesome. On to an actual topic, my man T Crumpet asked what to do about fasting if you work out in the morning. And the standard protocol when it comes to intermittent fasting is something like a 16-8 and that's something that's really popular. However, that eating window can be placed whenever in the day. So if you train in the morning, if you're training 7 a.m. before you go to work, for example, you can actually break your fast at like 9 a.m. And then all you do is you stop eating at like 5 p.m. So rather than fasting in the morning, you end up fasting in the evening. You're still sticking to that 16 hour fast and an eight hour eating window, but you're just moving it around so you get some of that post-workout nutrition. This is why the job dog keeps jumping around to the right of me. If you have any questions that you want to be answered or you want a topic that wants to be discussed or a recipe that you'd like to see, leave a comment down below and I will do my best to do it. And that is lunch, we got Greek yogurt with whey protein, collagen, coconut flakes, walnuts on top, and then just a bowl of salad with some olive oil on top of it. I found this natural whey protein. It's like one of the few proteins that actually is flavored with stevia, doesn't have sucralose, and it's literally like cocoa powder as the other ingredient. So I thought it was pretty good. It's just an easy meal, it took me like five minutes. Don't have to cook anything, simple. <laughs> It is now five o'clock where I'm gonna make dinner, which is the recipe for this vlog, and that is a Thai poached chicken. This is actually one of my favorite meals to cook, especially in winter, it's very warming. And also, it's not often that you cook chicken by poaching it or with water. Usually you roast it or you fry it, etc. So poaching chicken, you get 
a really tender, really juicy chicken, but you also get this incredible stock and broth that comes with it. And it's so thick, gelatinous, full of that collagen, gelatin, all of those different amino acids that you don't often get. So this recipe is incredible. It's great for a prep. It does about six servings, tastes amazing, and you can have it in so many different ways. So if you want the full link to the recipe is in the description down below. And that is the, basically it done. I'll show you later on what I'm gonna serve with, how I'd serve it. But it's a very, very simple recipe and it tastes freaking amazing. If you're kind of into like Thai, Chinese, Asian cuisine or an English <laughs> representation of it. Right, we've got about an hour, 90 minutes before I have to do anything. I'm gonna go do a quick mobility session. Today is pancake, front splits, and then general just rehab for the shoulder. What time is it, Arch? Is it time for din dins? So, just finished up the stretching session, as I said, focusing on pancake front split, just kind of working, greasing the groove. Um, still a bit stiff after doing legs yesterday because I'm doing legs three times a week at the moment. Um, but the chicken is ready. Also, while I was doing that, I was listening to a Joe Rogan podcast with Brian Fogel, I think his name was, the guy who did the Icarus um, documentary, which is all about sports doping. Really good documentary. Also, a good podcast if you're interested. Oh baby. There you have it guys, that is the recipe done. All I did was serve it with some rice, poured in the broth, put some vegetables, place the chicken on, and topped it with some coriander. Done. Full recipe is in the description down below. That looks freaking unreal and I cannot wait to eat it. Probably also gonna grab some coconut milk. Should we? Yeah, this recipe is a bit higher carb because I've got rice in it, but you could do this with just vegetables only. It could be like a lower carb thing, use it post-workout. So many possibilities for this recipe. This is what I've gone for. It looks freaking delicious. Macros are on screen and also in my belly. That was probably one of the best meals I've had in a long time. That coconut cream like drizzled on top as well was oh, so good. Just so you know, that is what is left over. So kind of one and a half liters of stock and then like four, 500 grams of chicken. So there's another like three, four, maybe five meals if you try and squeeze it out. So it's a good way to cook and if you buy a cheap chicken, which you know, you're better off getting a good quality chicken, organic, free range, but it's quite a cheap meal. I'm aware, however, that I have not had enough calories today. So this is some pear with cinnamon. Although I haven't eaten a lot, I don't feel hungry. Over the week, it will balance itself out. So I'm not worried. So the macros for that last meal, including the pear on the screen. And then finally macros of the day, as I said, are pretty long calories-ish, but not the worst in the world. Again, I'm just not feeling hungry, so I'm not gonna eat. I'll probably try and eat more over the next few days when I'm training. Sometimes that's just the way it is. Don't forget that if you wanna ask a question or you wanna bring up a topic for the next and future day of eating, leave it down below. Recipes, topics, questions, whatever. Otherwise, if you just enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up button, support the channel. But that is it for this week, guys. Have a strong and tasty week. Peace.